Bills coming early and your girl is the latest And she's saying that she's down but the crib always vacant And you do a dollar's worth but it's pennies that you making And you trying to be the greatest and You gotta get creative when you from the side of town Where the kids hardly make it And you try to ease your mind but the pigs always hating And your freedom's on the line and the years that you facing And you trying to be the greatest all right, what's up? What's up? What's up? This is uh, Jay, Doctor Jay. We coming at you with another <laughs> episode. This is probably going to show what this episode going to be like. <laughs> this is another episode of What's the Remedy Podcast. What, what episode is this? Why? This is number five. Oh, okay, number five, week five. All right, so we are on week five of What's the Remedy Podcast. This is Doctor Jay, Mr. Just, Wash. Yeah, Mr. Wash. We we got a couple of guests in here today, so we're going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves. We we'll go, ladies first. Hi, this is Ashley, and I'm from Houston. I'm a cancer, and you know, that's about it. Yes, no, come on. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to get yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the date. Everybody listening. <laughs> this is Mr. Oldheads Radio here, Big Chris. All right. What's up, Chris? Uh, so we're going to start this episode kind of like we do every episode. I got to make sure I'm close to this mic. Yeah. Gotta, uh, <laughs> we're going to start this episode kind of like every episode. So I'm going to start with myself. I'm going to tell you, like, yeah. how my weekend was. Yeah, how your weekend was. I don't even know, to be honest with you. I'm trying to... <laughs> and I was supposed to be the one that was ready. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> like, uh, what did I do this weekend, man? You did, uh, you did, you did the kickback Oh, party. I had a little... Yeah, my line brother had a little party. My, uh, my line brother from Alpha had a party. And, you know, it was cool. You know, happy birthday to that boy. And, um... Damn. It, it was cool. Like I said, we had people over at the house. We got, you know, we had some Y'all got random. Drunk? We got huh? Drunk. Who gets drunk? Tipsy. Uh, they was over there jamming that Lecrae. I don't. Get, I don't get drink. wild. Get, I don't. Ooh. I don't drink. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't drink like do. that. You know, I, I try to be sober as much as I possible. Like they was jamming that. They, they, <laughs> they was over there jamming that Lecrae and that new wine. Yeah, you know, turned up. We, we we had a real chill event. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we had a very chill. <laughs> had a get together. Yeah, yeah, get together. Old school, old school get together. That's how I'm born. I had a fellowship. <laughs> yeah, I had no thoughts there. No. I ain't had no thoughts okay. there. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't okay. have no thoughts there. No. I was, I was drinking, I mean, I was sitting and enjoying the music, enjoying the company. Somebody so, must uh, be listening from here. <laughs> enjoying, you know, okay, somebody's chicken. Uh, <laughs> okay, my man. I was enjoying the company. How how about yourselves? How was how was your weekend, ma'am? Oh, my weekend was great. I went to church. Hallelujah. Okay. Then I went to brunch to have some mimosas. Then that's how you do. You got to get your drink on. And then I Pretty had a little strong. day. Jesus and drink. Yeah, I put a little bit of juice in there. But I like champagne, so we call them mimosas if you want to. So it was like it was like champagne with a little color, basically. Uh, the food color, in yeah. Then yeah. you, yeah. you went on a date. I did. How was your date? It was cool. What? I, I got me an oldie this time. What? <laughs> I'm coming down. I'm coming down. He got benefits. I'm going to be. Can't deal with them young kids Social no more. Security. Right. I mean, but how, how old is old, though? I mean, he's only 37, but the last dude I went oh, with, oh, shut up. I thought he was like 47. <laughs> no. Okay, you get to the senior citizen club. He didn't even get no, no benefits. Yeah, you can't he got, like no, he got, I mean, he been at his job like 15 years. So I figured like, hey, stability. I mean, you I feel know? that. I feel that. Like, I was I like, mean, okay. Yeah. He probably got job security and everything. Right. You ain't getting no early bird special, though. I don't know. You, okay, you none like 50, of that. You got to get your 55 discount. Old. Nah, it's better than that 26 year old I went out with. Oh, yeah, hey, that's Lord, you, oh, well, I'm talking about that. How was your weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to change that. <laughs> How was your weekend? Watch? How was your weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I got a different weekend. I worked this weekend, so oh. everything did too Money. Much. Money. Money being made. Yeah, you got to get it. Right. You got to yeah. get it. That's all cool. weekend. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Said, you gotta get it all weekend. Oh yeah, got to man. So that's real. What about you, Chris? I mean, same way. Just had a working weekend. You know, had a little event I had to do, and that was it. What kind of event you do? Well, you know, over his radio, we had an event that we do on Saturdays in football season. So um, we was over there at the stuffed baked potato factory. And, Ooh. Mm-hmm. You yeah. had some baked potatoes. I still haven't tried baked potatoes over. and barbecue. Oh my god! Pop up shop. He's doing so. Oh. Yeah. I think I follow somebody on Snap. Oh, look. Wait uh-huh. a minute. Yeah. You done seen it. Okay. Yeah. I like barbecue. 
Yeah, yeah so, if you, so if y'all not doing nothing on Saturdays and y'all in Houston, go to what's the potato shack? Go to the Stuffed Baked Potato Factory yeah. off MLK okay. 610. Okay. Okay. During football season, it's going to be the Barbecue Rib Factory. Mm-hmm. And Old Heads Radio will be broadcasting live out there. Do they serve the baked potatoes and the barbecue rib? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, he, he had this uh, oxtail baked potato that I had. Mm. It was good. It you was country, good. country as hell. I like oxtail. Hey, hey you country as hell. I don't care. That's why I was looking at him it like, good, he about man. to go to the factory. What's <laughs> going on? He's not doing it this weekend because he's a PV alum, the owner. Uh, so oh, yeah, PV oh, Homecoming. PV Homecoming. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to tell y'all about that. I don't yeah, think know. I can go this year. Wait, why? Mm-mm. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, now, now I'm intrigued. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Them okay. homecomings always do me bad. Mm-mm. Oh, Gotta man. skip out one year. I mean, I feel you. Rotate. Take, take, you a, take you a year off, I guess. Yeah. Uh, So, since we know how everybody weekend was, we can move on to the actual show. So, um... Basically, the first part of the show is always what we call the "What You Lying About" segment, because you know when you get on social media, people just be lying. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, the first thing we gonna talk about. Okay, so there was this thing on Twitter today. Basically, let me give you a rundown of the background of the story. So, this girl posted this uh, screenshot of a text message because that's what women like to do now for some reason. Post <laughs> screenshots. I almost did. Hold on, wait a minute. You posted a screenshot? No, I don't do that. Of oh, a text message. Of a text message. Where they put it at? Um, On Twitter? Twitter? Oh, okay. I don't do that. Why is that okay? I just said okay. Don't say women do that. I don't do that. Well, most of the time it'd be women that post screenshots or screenshots. This this nigga shit hit me in the DMs and they post it on like whatever. That's so wrong. It is. That's what I said. That's some secret. Like, if I I show y'all some stuff, boy. Right. I don't want to see it though. I don't know. But uh, (laughs) (laughs) anyway, so in the messages, she was like, um, she had went to go get this dude up some food. And so he texted back and he was like, nah, I'm good. But, you know, you can get my mama something. And she was like, all right. I guess because he lived with his mama. I mean, which, which is a whole nother subject. She, first of all, she shouldn't post shit because right. he lived with his mama. She shouldn't even right. tell nobody she talking to right. his mama. But anyway, beside that, so like she go get the food. Like she don't, she don't, you know, fight against it or nothing. She go get the food. So she pull up and she talking about, so your mama food came out to $16. And he's like, oh, you want me to pay for it? And she said, yeah. And he's like, you ain't finna disrespect my mama like that or something. He, he just went off. And he was like, you know what? I'll just go get some food myself. They must be young. I, like in their be. 20s or yeah. something? I'm Cause, thinking that. Yeah. Because he, like he, he drove off and said he was going to get the food himself. And so, whatever. That's the girl got much. mad. And so, she was asking if she wrong for like not fucking with him no more. And so, the argument was... Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna ask y'all, how do you feel about the idea of her going to get his mama some food? They together? They they had just started talking. Like they in the early stages. Well, it, well, how was it presented that she was gonna go get the food? Was it like, you know, I'm gonna go get your mom some food? Like, was it like she a get, kind gesture? Yeah, she getting everybody food. We all eating. No, she, she really was mama? just asking him. If he wanted some food. But he said, oh, my mom's hungry, too. Get her something. Yeah, but he he said, I don't want nothing, but you can get my mama something. My mom would never ask nobody to get her no food, but I don't know. He kind of he kind of put her into a bad spot. Yeah. Yeah. By saying, like, I don't want it, but you could get my mom or something. Like, like she going to say no. But he should pay for that, though. Yeah, no, no, he he should want to pay for that. He should have offered. I I agree. Now let me let me tell you where where I feel like this went wrong. Yeah. So if I ask somebody if somebody says, "Hey, you want some food?" and I'd be like, "Nah, my mama wants some." I think what her response should have been if if she was not comfortable with that should have been either no or um you going to pay for this, right? Cuz I we need we need to get that it established. You so said you got to ask are you gonna pay for this now? I mean, me personally, like I you'll pay, think, like right, you'll think the man would have paid. That's his mama, but you gotta really ask I people. I feel like I feel like you gotta you have to establish that stuff. Like you have to establish that beforehand. Like you got and, girl, leave him alone. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I guess you gotta know what kind of nigga you're dealing with too. Yeah, sure. leave so. him alone. He already left. Don't you? And then you ask him on social media. First of all, is this wrong? No, nah, you gotta ask yourself the question. I guess you know the answer already, right? Yeah. Right. You already know what, what you should be doing. Like, it, I don't know. Yeah. No. He 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 handled that wrong. Cause like I say, as as being the man, whatever he should have been like, oh yeah, you can get my mom or something. Uh, just let me know how much it is. Yeah. Or something like that. Leave him alone. 
I think personally, no, I would play devil's advocate right here because um, get on Tinder. Me, <laughs> Tinder gets you in trouble. Don't and swipe to the right. Is somebody out there buy you and your mama something to eat? That's that's and that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I need me somebody. Like if I if you gonna offer, Girl, it, I'm like, hey, my mama hungry. You right. gonna be like, you know well, what? I got your mama. Well, you know but that, that's what I was gonna put to your butt on Twitter when you was talking about it. Yeah. I was gonna be like, well, are we dating for just to mess around, or are you trying to be here for the long term? Because you trying to be here long term. Yeah, you need to buy my mama's yeah, food. You, mama, you know my mama's food. But they just home. started dating. I'm not buying your mama nothing. Why? Oh, I don't like what you said. At the time, <laughs> like, like, like my mama not important. Like, yeah. like, but I, I just not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not my, buying your mama. If that was my kids, because I feel like you bought some. Oh, them kids situation. Oh, the kids. That, that, that's that's a difference. I don't know about. Okay, let's, not okay, talk let's about say that. this. Let's say this. Mm-hmm. Now we are gonna bring this up now. So let's say that. Like it's a girl, right? So a dude's like, "Hey, I can come. I'm I'm swinging by the house. You want me to get you some?" She like, "Yeah," and my kid's hungry too. So should he buy? Her he should food already. And the kids yes, food? he should already know. She's a package deal. It's different with a woman like that. Sorry. No, let me let me, let me jump in. I, I, I just it's went different. through this situation. Let me jump it's in this. different. I don't have any kids, but you you just gone. First of all, I was raised where you don't come in the house with just one person food. You got to bring everybody food. But ain't that the same? You yeah, know that this nigga mama, like mama, when you when you messing with him, him, you know he live with his mom. But mama. this is your mom, I guess, because like she's an adult and she yeah, should be eating her own food. Like yeah, my dad never let my brother just have bringing a burger. He got to bring me one too. We was young, but no, I'm not buying your mama nothing to eat. Oh, we just started dating. Well, how long should y'all be dating before you? We should be together, out? like together, together. Like, 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 like I'm six on months? social. I don't know. Do I got your picture on my Facebook page <laughs> together <laughs> or like? Wait, not like a profile picture, or you just posting one time for like your man crush Monday or something? Man, crush Monday cool too. I don't do that. No, I don't really have no crushes out there. Like, nah. she, she looking for a crush. Y'all. I'm looking for a crush. <laughs> Call me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So Watch it. Your ass now. Watch it. Turn it down a little bit. Wait a minute. <laughs> this fire extinguisher. Wait a minute. Calm your ass now. You must be sick. Bring up a little bit. Little bit sick. It's all good. Got a little fever. <laughs> I'm single out here. It's, it's hard out here. It's hard out here. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, it gets worse when you get older. Like y'all don't understand. It's worse. It's cold out there. You got you a 37 year old now. I mean, he might not be there for long. We had a text me. I'm not going to talk about that on here. Oh, oh, okay. I he's think... a nice guy. It's just, I'm a fucked up person. Damn. We all fucked up in all kinds of all yeah. ways. Yeah. yeah. No, True. Way. Mm. It's what I do. That's the first step, though. Admit. Yeah, you got to admit it. And then you, yeah. can, you yeah. can work from there. You should work for it, right? I don't yeah. feel like working. Well, I got other stuff to do. That's a whole other issue, though. Yeah. You got, you got the Astros work. in the World Series. They got so are, you, shit. are you sure you're ready for, for somebody? Because you're not Oh, I never said I was ready for that. Oh. Yeah. I said I was just out here. <laughs> just no, I, was, no, I, I just said you. I was out here. <laughs> okay. I think we, we'll move on from that conversation. <laughs> Never said I was like, ready. Yeah, let me, let that kind of makes me nervous. Let me swerve. Let me, okay, so, okay. So, well, since we were talking about kids, mm, we're gonna go mm, to the mm. next one. Oh, wow. Um, so your boy Russell Wilson, quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks, is, is currently. Are they married? Yeah, they married. Yeah, they married. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got he, another baby. Huh? Yeah, they got another baby. Yeah, they, yeah she they pregnant got, or something? No, she, no, she already had it. Mm, yeah. She oh, looked good. That's snap back. I ain't got no kids, and I need to snap back. And all right, mm, I'm. T- I, I don't. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. Like, I, I, how I missed it. But anyway, yeah. Um. So Russell Wilson basically posted a picture of future son, and was saying that you know he was calling him Papa Russ, and Papa Russ did a good job on the game. Blah blah blah. So the argument that came up from that, because there's always an argument no matter what gets posted, but the argument that came up from that was that. Should you, if you are in your son's life, is it cool that another man is called Papa in his life? If you the daddy and you still around, I think it just depends, man. On, on like for me growing up, I had my dad in my life, but I, I had my stepdad, and he's been around since I was like five or six. What'd you call him? I called him by his first name. You did? Yeah. You called your stepdad by his first name? Yeah. Mm. So, 
Like nope. your whole life from when you were little too? Yeah. Oh, okay. You never called him Papa? Dad. Dad. Something. Nothing like that? Stepdad. That's about it. I got scared yeah. when a little boy called me mama. So you do not do you that. Ain't. That ain't. Nah. Yeah. I'm not your mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> straight up. Not your mama. I'm not. No, I think he did it to be mean, to be honest. He knew I was scared. Yeah, I, Oh, he's like, mommy, nah, I'm this straight. Trying to right, to be honest, he ran me off. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he ran me off completely. He's like, I don't like this one. I'm going to say, hey, mama, and then you gone. <laughs> and, and then tell me how mama don't like you. I was like, yeah. I don't like your mama. Yeah. Um, he, looked, he looked at you and said, watch this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you think you've been to stay around here? <laughs> watch. He said, he said, hold my juice. <laughs> Whatever. That scared me to death. But, you know, I was young. Uh, Mm-hmm. Um, I'd rather you just call me Ashley. That's be cool. Like even if even if you like raising the chi- the child from you like can, a baby, you think they should just call you Ashley their whole life? If I have kids too and we're all raising them together, I don't want to offend the mother though. Like you can call Ma- Mama Ashley. Uh uh-uh. uh, that sounds old. <laughs> you call me Ashley. <laughs> That's how Ashley. I feel about the, the Papa Rush right. thing. Yeah. Like like Papa Rush sounds like somebody's granddaddy, but yeah. he's like yeah, but he if calls my child him Papa Rush. Me Ashley, I'm a slap. Well, I'm old well, well because I think I think it's, I think it's a problem. It's not a problem, but the issue comes when another child is presented in the situation. Because now yeah. the other child grew up and right. be like daddy. And the little child looking at you calling daddy or Russ. But you know. And you're kind of like, what the hell is going on? My dad didn't call his dad dad. They called him Theodore. They called him by his first name. Mm. Just because, I guess, he went to war, war, whatever, one or two. Y'all don't know yeah. history like that. But yeah. <laughs> he wasn't there for the first child when the, my uncle was born. He just called him by his first name because that's what he heard from my grandma. Mm. So they just called him Theodore. <laughs> Well, my dad would slap us if we called him by his first name. I I feel like I would be kind of offended if somebody called me by my first name. I called my mama by her first name. That's out of line. We got a relationship. <laughs> I think what kind of relationship y'all got? Like, you know, she Gert. I'm Ashley. Shout out to Gert. <laughs> Gert, 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 Gertrude? Yeah. 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 Gert, realest person out there. Uh, I was going to say, she got a real name. For real. I guess it it real. just depends, I guess, on the family dynamic, man. See? He, but I really son. think Future be on some bull anyway. Let Russell raise your child. Shout out to Russell Wilson. He got like five others. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Future, Future be, got a whole bunch of kids. He's trying to get back with Sierra. I mean, and I feel like I feel like it's, it, and that's kind of where like you see the dynamic of it being a problem. Because I think that Sierra can be kind of bitter about it. Not not bitter about it, like she wants a relationship back. She wants to she be with him. Yeah, she did. She did. And so she, she engaged. Like, engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah engaged. she he messed up, but yeah. you know what you was dealing with. He had five kids. Yeah, and so like now, That's too much out here. She can't deal with. I mean, she's not gonna deal with him, and she's happy now. And I'm not saying she's not happy with Russell. I'm sure she's happy with Russell Wilson, whatever. But I you think, think she really happy with Russell, or she won't. I think she's happy with the idea. The idea yes. is right. The yeah. idea is cool, but yeah. future is what she wanted. Right, because I would say, but like Russell is like it's like you know women had that argument where like they looking for like stability. They like they could be the, with the nigga, hey, that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, they can be with a nigga that like like that's the one that they want, but he just all over the oh place. My, oh my god, that's so scary. That's one. probably why I'm single, cause you know I like. That's why. That's why you got 37 year old. Yeah, you, you said it he's yourself. Stability. stability. He's stability, but yeah. but you, you don't know, like him. So I like a little rat and a little hood sometimes. Yeah. That one ain't the right though. See, and that's and and the funny thing is, like, and this is a whole other subject, but like women and preferences are funny. Cause like y'all be like y'all y'all like I need you to sell dope sometimes and sometimes. be on sometimes and in your head work. not real life. Okay, I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> sell dope as a leisure activity, basically. <laughs> yes, right. And I also need you to be like <laughs> I need you to have about five different personalities because I probably do, but yeah, you don't meet I mean, men like that. It's either it's or that, and I got to deal with the other stuff that I don't. Because I feel do like with. that's where the the whole argument about like men being trash come from is because you always dealing with the same type of men. So like you gonna go from one to another that all the same. Then of course they all gonna be trash. I they most of them are trash. Men like, are trash. Most men in general trash. Tell them, Such a general tell, 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 tell them what's going on in the streets. Tell, 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 tell them, them what's know, going on. Let them know what's on the street. Beat. You don't want to know. I, I'm, See, I'm willing I to just, listen. Cause I'm interested now. What? I just got my stuff back from this one dude. Tell him about your hair, B. Tell him about oh, your hair. Oh, he tried to pull the wig off. Uh oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> 
not the first. It's time my to black real, man. Get real, son. I said, I asked my brother, like, dog, y'all know not to touch black women. Hey, he was like, is it sold on or is it? This man tried to pull my wig off at BJ's. What was his reason? He just wanted. To, he said he was playing. Oh. But I didn't actually get mad. I was just like, what? You don't think that? Like, I have to ask questions because I don't get mad like that. I was trying to get my stuff back anyway. But with, I found out, don't get mad. Men like to see you mad. Just go ahead and smile. Key his car later, ladies. Key his car later. Key his car. Man, just don't damage people. Mind. People work hard for this. I was going to say, I lose my mind over my car. I'm just playing. But yeah. no. Yeah, he did. And he a grown. That's a grown man to the Lord. I mean. But he gay, so it don't matter. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? <laughs> like, like literally? He, or this like no, something he, that came up like. He, him gay. Him. Like he like men. No. I think he do. He act. Well, no, he just act like a female to me. Oh. He just, I mean, he got emotions or something. You know, emotional. He ain't emotional. No, he just does gay stuff. No, you pulling women's hair. Kind of, that's yeah, gay. Like pulling yeah, it's pulling so hair in the public. Is yeah, but then he talking about you being I funny. One kind of time like, he yeah. gave me some lotion. He said my, my hands were kind of ashy. I was oh, like, man. oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> was your hands ashy, though? I mean, a little bit. I mean, was, was the skin cracking a little no, bit? No, but his skin... I, okay, I don't say anything to him about, like, ash. Like, oh, your lips a little chap. I don't do that to people, but... You should. That's wrong. That's helpful. His, it, my hands were not ashy like that. He just a little too much, like, but all in your face. But the white, like though. With the Probably, white. But look here. I just got done working out, okay? Mm. I wouldn't... Who when, 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 like no, that? when it comes to your hands being ashy, I, I'll probably... Or make a joke about it, whatever, for you to go get the lotion. I wouldn't bring your lotion and say, handle that. Handle that. Yeah, you might. Need but he's looking for that type of woman. That's cool. That's not me. That's why he's single. And him gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to call the man gay, so mm, we going You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. The, so, this is my question. That So, related to that. So, is this a form of toxic masculinity where you you don't feel comfortable hearing another man call your son daddy like or calling him papa or any y'all got kids no i ain't got no kids. nobody got no. kids here mm-hmm. if y'all had a son and he called somebody else daddy how would you feel i, I can't say because i don't have kids so. y'all no, wouldn't I, like that i, I could i could you wouldn't this. like if your woman called somebody else daddy Hell no. so Ain't no way. Y'all don't want that. Men do not like that. Man, okay, so this is my thing. I think I would be fine with him calling him daddy while they at home. Don't don't come to me and be like, he, hey. He about four or five. He is not going to know from in the house. He's going to have to learn. Because no. like, he ain't been to come to me and talk about, my he, daddy told me, no, 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 that's not your daddy, boy. Like, I, 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 <laughs> you know I what? Tell. It's going to have to come down to the mom at the end of the day then. Especially if they're young. Yeah. The mom yeah. has to set the standard on what's going to be, how they're going to. But Sierra, to me, that. like to play she with that fire. Yeah, like how she take, let them take pictures and stuff like that. Like, well, she, she, she she the point. Point. So, yeah, yeah, she do. The point, like, I don't like that. You, I don't like it. Because even though y'all may talk, like we may talk about future guy, all these kids, we don't know what he do with his kids. And and to, from my understanding, like he be posting pictures of little future too. So like he, he in that in that little in the little dude life. Or whatever. So, but it's all how he portrays himself. Yeah, you know, saying. Russell Wilson is God. That nigga is yeah. yeah, it's all about how you portray yourself. Yeah, like I say, you can't, you can't talk about. He's talking about Percocet. Well, 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 that's what I was going to say. Like, you can't, like, say, judge him. Say, you got five, six yeah. kids, whatever, because he talks about Miley and Percocet, but he say he does no drugs. He he don't do drugs? Yeah, he don't But do he drugs. got me out here singing yeah. that? Yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And I'm up here really singing that yeah. and probably taking Man. some, you yeah. know, well, some That's what they say about a lot of rappers being con artists because a lot of stuff they rap about, they don't do. He don't yeah. smoke? Yeah, he don't really he do He don't anything. smoke you know, nothing. He got mad at Jay-Z for calling him out on uh On, on that. Uh, but I think that was a good little line. I thought about I mean, that. say it. I mean, yeah. okay, so I watched the uh, that um, Jay-Z was on Rap Radar or something like that. And he was talking about that. And he was like, I didn't really mean no shots of Future because he's like, me and Future, cool. He's like, I but just said it because it even... sounded good in the rhyme. Like he said, that's that just rap. Dumb. Hit dog holler too. That's that I'm sounds saying. dumb. You just gonna say that sound good? That's just like, oh. He, I mean, but Jay Z do say a lot of stuff just because it sound good though. Like he tried to get a lot of like yeah. wordplay in on a lot of his stuff. Well, and, and it goes down to people just saying stuff just like you say because it sound good. He really not made any 
about that life or doing those type of things, but it sounds. And I thought about that when I was listening. I was like, I thought they they was on a song together. So why are you talking about this man? Right, and but, that's what he said. He was like, Why would I talk bad about him if I just did a song with him? But, but you did. But, well, but, that could have been take. I mean, but like you're saying, but the shoe fit. You know what I'm saying? It's that yeah. man lane. It's kind of like. Mm-hmm. He took kind it personal. Of, yeah, he's still kind of shooting the slug at He got that ladder and climbed all in them feelings. Yeah, <laughs> he, he got up in there. Yeah. Um, let me let me let me switch it up a little bit. That I'm gonna let you kind of introduce this from Watch about the somebody like celebrity morality kind of thing. We kind of had this discussion earlier. Okay, like, yeah. Since we're talking about celebrities, like talking about future, or whatever, you have a different a lot of different celebrities out here that's done some questionable things. Um, i.e. Zero and just Britney <laughs> or Chris, Chris Brown or Rihanna situation, you know, things of that nature. Well, there's certain, well, it was a conversation I had and somebody was pretty much was like, uh, talking about the R. Kelly situation. It just came out today. Like his, one of his ex girlfriends came out and basically said, um, was telling her story about her being kind of held in prison. Kind of, you know what I'm saying, with, 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 with R. Kelly and stuff like that. Yeah. He really got them girls locked up? Like, she said that yeah. he would, like, had her locked up. She it was And it was an actual girlfriend, but she was talking about how, like, he kept yeah. her and, like, they had to stay in the room or whatever. Yeah, you know what she I'm saying? Was, so. But she was locked up in the room. They had food. Well, no, I, I, think, I think they have to ask. They, they can have food, but they have to they ask. Have they have to ask permission. Man, what? And stuff. Mm-hmm. Now I think they can leave at any point in time. They just don't choose. Yeah, but R. Kelly like, already you know, messed with little girls. But see, but see, so. that's my but that's my point though. Like somebody like R. Kelly, the conversation I had, like, hey, R. Kelly's supposedly allegedly locking up these women. Mm-hmm. But you still have people like if R. Kelly was to have a concert tonight, people like, I know, I'm still I know going. some, I know some fans out. that's gonna go. I yeah, know, I know some people. Out. Oh, I yes. know some people that's so, gonna go. So it raises the question: How far does your out. how far does your morality really go? I was like, is it just based off of the situation? Or I'm just not based off gonna the stop jamming 12 play. That song jam to the day I die. 12 play is gonna. Well, he's be a musical played. genius. Yes, yeah. but it's just it's, it's like a conflict, man. It just depends on him. Nasty. So, so, like, yeah. okay, so my my gal is is like one of them people that like she don't like she won't let me play R. Kelly. Yeah. She's Why? like, no, R. Kelly is like a terrible person, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh. I'm not going to stop playing R. Kelly. I'm Tim, not Tim playing that. No, I'm not. No. Turning TP2? Like, yeah. like, I was in high school. Like yeah, this I think. Oh. Classic, yeah. classic songs and albums. I'm not going to stop yes. playing R. Kelly. I'm, I know he, he is fucked up. I despite, mean, like. It's like, despite what you think about him as a person, the dude is musically talented. Yeah. Like, that's a given. Yeah. So his person, concerts are good though. I can't lie, y'all. Yeah, I ain't been to a concert. I ain't yeah, going I no more though. Concert. I can't go no more because because he bad. Nah, I just don't feel like it. Like yeah, I've been yeah. to it too been many. To it, yeah, so. <laughs> you already, you've already experienced. So kids. it don't got nothing to do with Not your morality. That. Like you said, if that was Michael, I'll go. I don't care what kids. Yeah, touch. like I'm saying, like I can say, and, and he ain't touch like, my kids. And it brings much morality. Like there's certain certain people that you be like, I'm not gonna see. I don't support. Blah blah. If Michael was still living, I'd be front row. Yes, and he was giving little kids. Jesus juice and touching <laughs> little boys and stuff like that. Allegedly, I say that's the parents' fault. You know them kids getting touched. You just want them money. Michael Jackson got the cure for cancer. Well, he had the cure for cancer. He did. He did. That, that, little, that little boy, the, the main one, he was basically his last wish was to see Michael spend a time with Michael Jackson. But he, they said one of them didn't get touched. His stepdaddy made him lie, something like that. I'm pretty sure he had some people that lied about it. Mm-hmm. And that that's that's how like what came up with the whole Bill Cosby situation. Where he had Uh-oh. like fifty seven allegations. I'm still watching the Cosby show. I I don't care. I thought he was my daddy a little bit. I didn't think Uh-oh. he was gonna touch on nobody. Yeah, he he was messing with grown women though. Yeah, he did. Well have y'all seen the thing with the uh, Harvey Weinstein? The uh the Weinstein. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Weinstein. Ain't nobody gonna stop watching the movies either though. Oh, no. I definitely not. Inception was great. But to me, <laughs> yeah. it was. But to me, like, I, well, it's hard. Y'all not women. It's hard to get where you need to be at certain times because the people who is up there, but they want the women just spoke out, right? Yeah, yeah. I have a problem with that. That's the only thing I have a problem. Why you waste? So well, well, like I said, I got a problem with, like I said, when it comes to like the Bill Cosby situation. For let's say it's forty women came out, right? Let's say it was probably three or four women that was unconscious, or whatever the case may be, pretty much got raped, whatever. Mm. I feel tremendously bad for those women. For the women that was like, hey, either you're going to get down tonight or you ain't going to work in the movie, my move, next movie. That's and what you, I got a problem yeah, with. And you choose to have sex with me, whatever. I really don't feel that bad because you will still have a choice. 
No, okay. saying because other yeah, people I mean, didn't have a choice. I mean, it's one of those when things with the industry, man. I, I'm sure that's he's just the one that got caught right now. That's getting put on. Of course, it, it's everybody the, doing it in Hollywood. Probably. Everybody, yeah, even the music industry. Everybody, everybody knew about the casting couch. Yeah, the music, yeah. The, yeah. The music industry is even you, worse. You heard how Ben Affleck was talking to some the. Uh, the interviewer or whatever when he ran, when he ran the yeah. bris and yes. stuff like that are you serious I'm not like Ben but and, and the thing is it ain't even just the entertainment industry it's like it's it's Every. people that got like regular jobs like CEOs the power. that be like so yeah. I mean I, I know you want this promotion and they, they may not do sex but they gonna push you in some kind of way to do what you True. what they want you to do because you need that promotion do yeah. y'all experience that at work I don't. What well, is this one time a band yeah. camp? No, oh. no, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey anything is possible. If, <laughs> if, if if old white men are grabbing Terry Crews yeah, by the crotch, dog. Are you serious? Yeah, yes, it Terry Crews. No, yes, just... Terry Crews. He shared a story. He said a dude walked up to him at one of the Hollywood parties, and he was like one of the big wigs in Hollywood, grabbing him by his crotch in front of his wife, in front of his wife, and basically told him you ain't gonna do nothing about it. And his, him and his wife just kind of could, all they could do is look at each other. Wow. Like what's he gonna do? He can't say nothing to him. He's crazy. Because he, he said he wanted to whoop his ass, but he was like the the, the narrative would have been like this big six six black dude beat the shit out of this older white man, or whatever. It would have killed his career, yeah, killed everything. Killed career. Oh man! So I mean, like in it, like like watch it. It's like anything's possible. I I don't want to put it past nobody, but at the same time, I'm like, man, I don't know. It's, it's just, you know, people in positions of power, man, they'll take advantage of it. You know? Of course, you hmm. know. I mean, like, okay, so for example, since we talking about people that like where our morality scale is kind of skewed, yeah, that I watched the Chris Brown documentary, right? So as I'm watching the Chris Brown documentary, I'm, I'm watching it and he's talking about like how he beat Rihanna, or whatever. Yeah, I mean, he talked about. I mean, he beat the brakes off that girl. He did. He did. <laughs> and, and but he admitted it. Yeah. I gotta give him credit because he, he admitted it. He, he did. Know, he, he said I punched her in the lip. She started bleeding. She spit the blood also, back on me. But like, yeah, that, that's, like, that's how you know. Real. But she yeah. also said like they been fighting. Yeah, they been fighting. She just called the police at that time. Like, yeah, she th- yeah. And and Rihanna strikes me as type of person. You know what I'm saying? She probably oh, did sure. go at it. She, she a savage. Yeah, she gonna go back and I forth with him. I would have spit the blood too. We would have been rolling up. He had been like he said she had kicked him in the chest and shit before that. So like, yeah, I mean, like they were fighting. <laughs> but he's still out here abusing folks. <laughs> by the by the end documentary, he was like. Damn, and they can dance though. Which, yeah, <laughs> and that's, that's, that's my point. talented, but Dog. he also got some demons that I'd be like, Ooh, yeah. But okay, okay, so my my uh, mental health professional side. So I'm watching the documentary, and he's talking about um, how he grew up and how his his uh, his, his mama had a yep. boyfriend that used to beat her like all his life, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And so, like when he was six, the boyfriend shot himself in the head, but he didn't yeah. die. Yeah, he just went blind. He went blind. Mm-hmm. And so, like when he went blind, he got more upset and started beating his mama more. How blind man! That's what I said That's the I whole think. time. I was like, "How that blind? You so, wouldn't have found so, me." So you, so you walked into the ass. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here, girl. Come here. Where you at? Where you at? That's fucked up. We talking about that, that, but, that fucked up. But, it's, but really, it's like, where you at? Come here, stand still. But hey, it was hey, just wait, sad wait. how he was explaining it to because he said like he didn't want to get up to use the restroom and yeah. help pee on himself because he didn't want to see his mom getting beat up. But he seen, and that was his stepdad. I was thinking his dad would be on his mom. Like, God, yeah, please. but like, but like you were saying, like it is like the demons you could see there now. Like you could see where all but, of that comes from. But I grew up in a household that you know I ain't seen nobody get beat. And I've beat up on somebody before. I can see that. You you can <laughs> <laughs> run. Oh, I was just run. Gonna, I was just gonna run. let it float. No, but, yeah. you can, I mean, so I don't know. I don't know what to say. I ain't see that, but I show so up but on you, him yeah, a but lot. You, but you'll whoop somebody though. No, no. Huh? I said, but you'll whoop somebody though. No. What you mean whoop somebody? Don't incriminate yourself. No, you, you uh, fight somebody. Yeah. No, not no more. Yeah, not no more because you know you changed. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. Yes, I changed. That's, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. That's right. I don't do that, but I did have an angry side. Why were you angry? I have no clue. He was too nonchalant. Oh. I don't like that. You want to, how was your childhood? Oh, perfect. It was perfect. (laughs) 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 Oh, okay. Well, that's that's Nah, my mom used to beat the hell out of me, but mm, my dad didn't. He didn't really touch me. My mom beat me a lot. I mean, but, you, but I was bad. I mean, some sometimes I was bad, but I mean, you, but dude, you were just aggressive though. So. Yeah, aggressive. Yeah, I beat. Yeah. yeah, I hit that dude a lot. 
So I mean, yo. But I know what I did wrong. But I, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I but, but but that leads to like what we talked about, kind of like last time, when it was like sometimes you can have two people that's they can be good people by themselves. By themselves. Oh yeah, together. But together, we were it triggers it, it triggers something. Right. Like something bad. Each person brings something bad out the other. Yeah. And, and, I seen a side. I was like, I never did this before. Yeah. Like, man, I rolled up on this grass and everything. Wow. You know like what I'm saying? In, in the car? For sure. Wow. Right. Donuts. <laughs> you were doing donuts? That was one time, one time only. <laughs> you tore up the man grass? He man. didn't want to come out the house? Oh, somebody's coming out the house. Oh my god! I'd have called the police. <laughs> <laughs> like that's gonna stop me. Oh, but, I mean, <laughs> but, but, like, but, like, but like you said, no, that's, the, that's the only time you've done that, though. Like the yeah. only person that you've done that to. Yeah. Because it was something in him was, that brought yeah. that out. Of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, everybody has that one person that just brings out all. But that's that not. I don't like that side. Ooh, I don't. Yeah. I'm good. And I want to say that that's, that's what happened with Chris Brown, but it, it wasn't. No, because he was hitting on him. corruption. <laughs> he like hit on light-skinned little girls. I just like they, this, y'all light-skinned girls, stay away from Chris Brown. Yeah. He like to beat on y'all. But I mean, and, and Chris Brown, you remember, there was a, uh, I think it was Cat Williams had a special one time where he was talking about niggas that, that beat women. Mm-hmm. And he's like, there's two of them. There's one of them that's like, you call the police and they be like, no, nah, no, nah, they're going to back off. Like, they kind of cowardly. Like, they just beat on yeah. women because they're weak. And then there's niggas that beat women because they crazy and they'll fight the police and everybody. Chris Brown <coughs> wanted them because like it wasn't just Carucci and Rihanna. He, he would fought Drake. He fought like a oh, couple. Oh yeah, like, he, he was, was, was in the club. Yeah. he was so fighting all just, kinds of people. To he me, just he crazy. just angry. Yeah, he yeah. just got a lot of anger. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah that, that Ti syndrome. Yeah. Like anytime they challenge, they feel like they right. Have to do it See, I got that little man syndrome. That's why he got to use that big vocabulary. Some big got to come out of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what you just said, sir, but you did. I'm gonna say disrespect. Watch your mouth, right? Watch your mouth. You might help me with the sale. But I like Ti. I do, but he he just. He he's not like Chris Brown, no. No, I don't. I don't think he beating women up and stuff like that. But he's one of those people that anger comes out if he's challenged. That I have to follow through whatever I'm saying. Yeah, I got to prove he, myself. Oh, he yeah. want to. I know he want to get with Mayweather probably, but that ain't yeah. about to happen. He ain't gonna do that. Nah. Yeah, but he. But would, Mayweather but, but, like but, that too. But he would go down fighting because he has to. He, if he's yeah. gonna say it, he has to show you how ignorant I can be. Yeah. And you have some people in life that really mess up their lives like that because and they have to go to the extreme to show you how much about their life I am. Yup, I so. was almost there. But yeah. I changed. Yes, I'm, I'm, change. yeah, I'm glad you changed. I'm glad you're here. Cause you we, be like glad that. you're here. Yes. You know, Happy you, Tuesday. Yeah, you, know, you come a long way. Yeah, yeah I, because because the roles have reversed. Cause there's a lot of women getting taken out by crazy dudes. Not right. Yeah. yeah. I don't meet them though. No. I know aggressive men. I don't meet them. Mm-mm. I meet them, but that ain't my type. I was gonna say like you ain't never like matched up with somebody that that's match aggressive. Your, match if you arguing with me, if you grab me, yeah. that's too much for me. No, oh, okay, so. I need to be able to handle you. So you like to dominate for sure. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you tough. mean? Not dominate, but I need to be able to get with them. Like you know, in case something do pop off. I mean, but like from the sound of it, it's like if they if they match your aggression, I don't like you that. Don't deal with them. No, but like if, if they go. They, they gotta be. Gonna back down. If they timid, you, you go yeah. for it. A little mm-hmm. bit. You gotta be a little bit. You like you you, you like can't argue in the situation. With me? Basic. What you trying to say? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you the one that I always get told that though. Yeah, like you the one that's like making people feel bad and stuff. What you mean, bro? I make everybody feel good at times. But from what you're saying, what you're saying, you want you you need an alpha male type personality to deal with you. But, but you don't want nobody too Mm-mm. alpha male because if they do, yeah, they if it's like, you don't want them to be over. Don't be over like, yeah. like domineering over. I know you. how to I know how to you know let a man be a man, but also no, you can't control Ashley. That's not about to happen. This ain't slavery, my nigga. So like, what if they just like check you a little bit? Check. Some of that stuff is kind of eternal. How? What's the chicken? How you chicken? But that's what I'm saying. Like, I think I feel like you got like a. That, I kind of yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I kind of like that sometimes. That's how most, that's how most women sometimes. Like, 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 not all for, the time. For him to let you know that he ain't no bitch, like he right. Got, yeah. But not all the time. Well, you just gonna talk sense. to me. And but like you, like, you want niggas to dance like a fine line between. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's like you want you want them to dance. You know what I'm saying? Shuck and jive yeah. on that yeah. line. Like like it's one. It's like right on this side of the line. He too aggressive, and you ain't gonna deal with him. And then like right on this Who side. Want to deal with somebody that's so yeah. aggressive? But you want somebody a little bit aggressive? A little bit, not so much. That's what I'm saying. They gotta be. Because right I'm gonna fight you if you're too much aggressive. Like we gonna fight. Well, you know. 
That's why I'm, you know, I'm working on it. I don't know. You. Find your common ground, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> ladies and gents, find get, your get common you, ground. Don't get beat out here, girls. Don't get yeah. beat. Get you some balance in your life. Yeah, be on balance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, balance. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're gonna move on from like the celebrity stuff. We're gonna go. To, we're gonna go to like some more serious. Oh, I'm gonna okay. try to keep it kind of serious. Mm. But this is this is real because this is like our last episode in the in the uh, month of October. Yeah, month of October. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, year, year we're going by fast. Yeah, it is because I mean, okay, so when this episode comes out, it'll probably be like Wednesday or Thursday, really. But um, it's gonna be towards the end of October, so our next episode ain't gonna come out till the beginning of November. So what we wanted to address since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Boobs. So, boobs. We want yeah, to check yourself. Save boobs. In, 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 the boobs. Yeah, in this in, in this in this uh episode, check yourself. Yeah, in this episode, check yourself. We're gonna talk a little bit about the boobs, man. Um, y'all like titties? And yes. <laughs> All right. I'd be, be scared to say no. Like, <laughs> like you know what? Yeah. Like women, no. Titties. First of all, let's establish that women. <laughs> She just she just <laughs> called a nigga gay, so I don't want to. Right, I don't think about it. I don't, I don't think wanna, about it. I, like I don't want to say no. Nah, I don't they like. They got quiet, like, ladies. Got, you got they got quiet. I'm gonna have Chris like yes, yes. yes, yes he yes. made it very clear. Uh, yeah. Y'all got quiet. Okay. I uh, I definitely like titties. I <laughs> okay, like, we'll make a show. I like a nice set of memories. That's, That's okay. Good. I like I like voluptuous breasts on, uh, yeah. on women. Okay. What? <laughs> That's that T.I. word. Right oh, well, I yeah, don't know. Right? <laughs> exquisite breasts. Yeah, exquisite breasts. The exquisite yeah. of the voluptuous. Yeah. I'm glad y'all talking about breast cancer awareness. It is. Damn. So, so what? What? Let me go around and see what do y'all know about since I, that I'm gonna ask. Man. I'm gonna ask this question uh, because I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I'm asking. Because, like, breast cancer awareness is, like, a big deal. Like, it goes out everywhere. There's pink ribbons and T-shirts, and it's all over the NFL. Like, they wear pink all October mm-hmm. and stuff. So, the whole point of that is for breast cancer awareness, how aware are you? Like, what do you know about breast cancer now since you've seen all this pink? What do you know? Anybody can ask. Well, I, I, I'll go first. Because, like I say, we all know somebody, a friend, family member, whatever, that's dealt with breast cancer or, you know what I'm saying, who's a breast cancer survivor or... You know, saying how they ever think about it. Um, I know a little bit more now because I have a close friend that's going through it right now. That has breast mm-hmm. cancer, um, has stage two breast cancer, and just talking to her about her process of like having to go get like the chemotherapy treatments and stuff like that to see what somebody's going through. Uh, it's a very sobering experience, like just to hear somebody like sound good on one day, mm-hmm. and then you talk to them or text them. Uh, a, a day or two after treatment and they really have no energy and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's like a 16 week process. Yeah. And stuff like that just to see somebody go through that. So, um, like this month, like you say, I know you're going to get on talk about the NFL and stuff, which I am surprised. Like, I guess they're not contributing no money this year. Yeah. Cause you usually see like More the whole people. NFL full of yes. pain and this think, year you don't see it. I think what happened was, um, a lot of the other companies was like, it was, they were all just for the Susan Coleman. Yeah, so, going all pink, so they had to diversify. That's why you see like the little rainbow in the end zone sometimes. I, I, is that CBS that does that? But they, they're trying to show more than one uh, cancer. Yes, yeah, so a lot of like, cancer. Of yeah. 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 Oh, okay. I see what they're oh, doing. Well, that, I guess that, that makes sense because yeah. like it was it was always. But you pink. know they always. I have a pink jersey, a Texas jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pink, pink was the pink. big thing. Like yeah. breast cancer was a big deal, and that's and that's why I kind of wanted to ask because I'm like, okay, so they've been doing all of this stuff and spending all this money on breast cancer awareness. How aware is it really making people? Like, what do you what have you learned about breast cancer? Like you said, you watch that he learned something because you know he has somebody going through it. But like outside of that, like outside of actually seeing it firsthand, what do you know? And I'm a woman. I don't know that much. That's sad. I mean, outside of of what you hear on TV, yeah. You know, I, I don't really just know too much. I just know to check myself. Yes, like I know it's a lot. Okay, yeah, so check for Let me ask yeah. this: How? You want me to show you? No, oh. I want you to tell me. <laughs> you to, you that's a different to, show for another day. You trying to get boys from? <laughs> no, what the hell? no, that's a different show for another day. <laughs> the, views, the, the, the views of Ashley does not affect does not not does not affect uh, Doctor J or Mister Orange. Yeah, yeah, you should have seen this face. No, yeah, they're not part no of this. Okay. Not okay. I'm just 
Miss Ashley kept her things to herself. Okay, Be quiet. so okay, let me. I, I'll explain this because it, I guess it's kind of uncomfortable for like females to explain it. For what I understand of the of the procedure, like you gotta like lift your arms and yeah, stuff too. Yeah, you lift. Yeah, you just circle them around. You're trying to feel for lungs. Right, that, and that's all I was trying <laughs> sorry. to say. I'm, I'm sorry because sorry. Me, if, if anybody has watched the uh, uh, the movie Sprung, yeah, when uh-huh. uh. When Johnny Witherspoon was like, yeah, oh. grab your dick, rub it in a circle of motion. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like you touch yourself. Like you doing something to yourself. And what do you get to say? No, want this dick. Yeah. 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 He said, bring them jingle bells over here to Denise, because I'm going to ring them right. Wow. But yeah, but, but so like you say to somebody, yeah, rub it in a circle of motion with your hand up. I'm like, uh, uh, But at my age right now, I should have mammograms, they said. Yeah. yeah. Like, but I don't think mine can get on it. Like, like on your early, like on your early... Yeah, like in your early thirties and stuff, you gotta go ahead and. Uh, they want to be. Yeah, they, my doctor want me to they start. They squeeze now. the thing down yeah. and they just. Uh, but they I, take the I'm still X-ray. trying to figure out how my shit is supposed to fit up. Though. They have a way to get everybody titties on there. Mm. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they want to check everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, cause I, the my other thing is like hurt. it hurts so bad. I, I believe it because like I've seen it done. Because like I mean, there was a time where I thought I was gonna be a doctor, so I, I went through all this stuff. But like. So it like squeezes the tendon, yeah. like it it squeezes yeah, yeah, it hard yeah. mm-hmm. it before it does. A, man, that's and on a bad day. Oh my nah, god! It, it, see it the stuff like we gotta painful. go through. You yeah, see this, y'all. ladies? Man, don't we gotta you get, give up. We gotta get prostate exams. Oh, I yeah. give you one. That's why. Uh, no, that's why people just give you one for free right yeah, now. Two thousand seven. That's the end thing and stuff like that. Oh, that's another time. Oh, yeah, that's a whole other subject. Sub- 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 Y'all are milking prostate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. And man, you need to get tested. Don't get your prostate checked after. Not, not till not till after forty five. Yeah. I'm good. No, yeah. now, I'm, I'm probably I'm probably gonna get mine done next year. You honest. need to get your prostate checked because, because, because it's in my family. You yeah. need right. Yeah, no, I will give you that. Okay, be um, healthy out here. No, but yeah, like no women. Women are supposed to get mammograms and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Man, but yeah. I know some women. Okay, never mind. But yeah. see, and the thing is, like you talking about different size titties, but like the I seen women that you know how like people women get breast cancer and they got to get like a mastectomy or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, like I've seen women that like they had like one big breast and then like they had a mastectomy on the other side. It's like there'd be nothing there. Yeah, and that's weird. But I, I, mean, had, I feel it. I had I seen somebody like that. Yeah, they, they, they have a process from what's been told to me. Whatever they have a process where you can get it done for free, like reconstruction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can get reconstruction done, or you can get like uh, implants. Like the, I would get the like implants. The, like the insurance will pay for. It. I feel like give that's me necessary. some seeds up here. Well, well, like I say, I, I, I think it would be it's kind of necessary. Um, I think just for the person to feel kind of normalcy, right? Of you know, saying like, do y'all, do you ever that? see the pictures of the women that show like they had the scars and stuff? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I've seen that. Yes. What y'all think about that? It's nasty. I think not. <laughs> Angelina Jolie, she had got yes, yeah, yeah, she yeah, yeah, stuff to, to prevent because yeah, she has breast cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it like, visually anybody's gonna say like, oh no, I think that's weird, that's nasty. I mean, whatever. yeah. But I just think that I seen some beautiful women that showed their no, bodies, and yeah. I was like, "Wow!" Because at the end of the day, it's just I think I think people say it, it might be weird and it's nasty, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Because it's kind of like that situation where it's kind of showing you this is reality. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying that because, like I said, you look at titties on the movies and shit like that, or Skin Max, and you like, "Oh, that's what titties look like." But then to see somebody go through the, that, but that's the sad part. Y'all looking at the movie titties. Y'all ain't looking at real titties <laughs> out here that be hanging way to the ground. Long nipple titties out here. What? Oh, that's not old. She had an old little show. Those titties that be swanking and banging. Swanging. Swanging and banging. Those real. Let me look at the cinematic titties. Right. Yeah. Sandbag. Like sand. I got the titties and they feel like bags of sand. Yeah, got them Got them nice National Geographic. Yeah. Them people read them Stevie Wonder. Too long. Too long. Real nipples. Yeah. But yeah, but you know, going back to the main <laughs> point of like all of this is, hey, hey, for real, like, if you, or especially a woman, men too, we got to mention yeah. that part too. Oh, yeah. Men are very acceptable. To, it's not as many, but men are acceptable to breast cancer as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I mean, the whole thing is like men don't have as much breast tissue, so, so yeah, how, it's less likely. So does the doctor check y'all? Because I know y'all ain't checking. Nah. Y'all ain't even check nothing. I mean, but <laughs> men okay. Men don't check nothing. I think, but I think a man going, I mean, no, men don't check nothing. But that's why, like, when it's diagnosed for men, it's so hard to, like, like I Joe. guess that's why it's so rare, too. Because, I mean, like. Y'all don't check anything. Men, please. I check what I need to. Okay. 
The essentials. What's yeah, the, what's that? Sure I need CDs. No, y'all don't. Y'all can be sure drip no... dropping thing and all that's just life. Hey, keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> y'all just be. Yeah, I'll keep no. going. I'm, I'm not. Gonna... I'm not gonna rebuke that because okay. that's how most men think. Right. Like, yeah. like until, until, until I have until a cough, it's like, hey, mm. something might be wrong with me. You don't yeah. go check yourself regularly. Like, Man, if y'all have a cough, y'all gonna take some Robitussin and then call it a day and be like, oh, cool. That's true. It, basically, the only reason you. The only way y'all will go to the doctor, that thing it can't get up or something's wrong when it get up, it hurt. It, you got to be in pain and you can't get up. Yeah, sex is a big thing. Right. Of so sex. when you can't Nobody have sex, you can't stop. When sex, your dick broke. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> sadly, sadly, a true moment, in, especially in the black community Dang. or whatever, is a man's checkup is his woman going to the doctor and the And then I come clean. back and tell you, say, the, mm. say, say, say. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, what, that is the main what, check. What's going on? Yeah, yeah that's you know, right. then you get nervous. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She'd be like, yeah, it's like, what you talking about? What's wrong with you? What's wrong yeah, with you? Good, you good? Oh, I you can't sure? stand. Because you come out and so like, but, oh, so clean, ladies, like, check this. yourself, ladies, because these men ain't checking nothing out. Oh, I, I, I tell you, hey, women, guarantee you check yourself. Yeah, no. Yeah, but y'all I mean, be messing like, with some women that don't check nothing. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. That's another that's story. Another story. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, that's, a, that's a whole but, other issue. Yeah, we, we, we'll have a we'll have an STD episode. One yeah, because y'all mess with them <laughs> nasty <laughs> noodles over there. Nasty. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. You want them trap nasty. boys instead of them nasty noodles? What you mean? Nasty. Y'all want them old bad bitches out here? Oh, what's that? Nicki Minaj fake booty girls, but don't clean their kit at all. <laughs> That should be the title of the show. <laughs> Fuck boys and bad bitches. Fuck bad boys. Bitches. Break it down. Let's break it down. Y'all want them. <laughs> y'all want them um, Cardi B's out here. But she, she I, see, I, see, I seen that on uh, Twitter today. I somebody like Cardi was, B though. Somebody was like, somebody like the girl was like, High yellow, whatever. Yeah. But then she took her pants off and about the crotch area was blacker than Lance Gross. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Ugh. Why so black? I don't, I don't, I don't even want to know. <laughs> yeah. That's nasty. Like, I feel like that's But that might wrong. be her skin. Are you serious? They're serious about what? It might just be her skin like that, though. Like, to be know. black? And how black? Lance Gross black. Lance Gross. She got that shit. <laughs> 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 exactly. And it's just like, yeah. Wesley Snipes black. Pull, you, he might be, <laughs> he might be like, uh, who's that? Wesley Snipes black, pink ass dick. Just say, I'm just saying, like, it's wrong. Like, that's that's that's, that's, that's not weird. that's weird, right? But I don't think I don't even think that'd be like a like a STD issue. That's like a mm. weird ass, right? Issue. That might be her weird ass issue. Oh, right. She need some sun on that thing. Well, if it smell like a seafood market, right? Oh no, you just you, see. Ooh, you, you just yeah. got problems. Yeah, but y'all won't stop. Yourself. But y'all don't. Y'all don't stop if it smell like seafood. Oh, you do. Do. <laughs> y'all don't stop. Nah. Pussy's pussy. For real, y'all don't That's stop. not true. That's, that is a lie. Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. I already know my homeboy's like, man, she just stank, man. I ain't mess with her no more. You gonna mess with her that first time, though, to it, make sure if okay. it was her. So, you like, might he mess- might have, but it was probably because he was, like, you know, he was already intoxicated or mm. something like that. But he was, That's nasty. But he don't, you don't remember much, but okay, but sense is one of your strongest senses. So, mm. like, when you smell something, like, you may not remember shit from that night, but you gonna remember that smell. Mm. And so, like, you be like, "Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that." But I remember, I remember that just smell terrible. I'll never talk to her again. I mean, but you you did it because you wasn't really thinking at the moment. But you remember the next day. You was trying to get. You was trying to bust. That's it. That's, and that and that and that, and that and like when you when you get to that point, it's a one track mind. So it's yeah. like. You don't even think about nothing else. Think of the wrong head. <laughs> right, the wrong head. It happens. It, I mean, then I got to hit a story the next day. I'm like, you missed that nasty girl. So now I got to see the nasty girl. And then be like, hey, girl. Nasty. Yep. <laughs> Stankin' ass. Stankin' ass. Stankin' stank. 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 Now you got a nickname, Stankin' Stankin'. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotta have a nickname. Everybody got a nickname. But anywho, moving on. That's not nickname me. Nothing. So, like, um... Oh, so that brings up... Okay, so I was talking about breast cancer awareness, and then we'll be off this breast cancer thing. Then we're almost out. So we'll be off this breast cancer thing in a minute. But first, I want to say, so since nobody really learned anything from all this breast cancer awareness stuff, where do you think that that money goes? Because there's a lot of money being made in breast cancer awareness. To the white man. Well, I look, I look like, like, for instance, the, the Susan Coleman. I look at them like the Red Cross. Yeah. You know, it's like you see all this money going to it, but you the don't really see... Man. Going to the people that's affected and it, you the know, white helping man. people. The white man. Shut your slave trading ass up. I 
I'm out here getting breast <laughs> which cancer. Donate, I which I am donating to the breast cancer most of the to the white these, man. Most of the heads to these charities are the white man. So not know, even the white woman. They, you know, I want to say that yeah. one day. <laughs> and they got like six figure salaries. You know. Yeah, I was gonna say like I like they had that whole investigation into Susan G. Coleman where like. I think the CEO was making like it was at least like three or four hundred thousand a year, like and so the CEO getting paid that much on a charity, on, on a, a charity. charity. But okay, because I got breast cancer out here dying, and you getting paid. Let me tell you I'm like this pissed. though. I, I as a, I I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a personal like I, I'm kind of into capitalism, so I always I consider myself a liberal conservative, mm-hmm. but like so I understand it though. Like, I understand paying that CEO that much mm. because you need a competent working CEO that's going to run your business. Correct. OK. All right. So the only way you gonna get a competent working CEO is you have to have a competitive salary. So if this Fortune 500 company is offering two hundred and fifty thousand for you to come on as like a lower level management, then as a charity or a nonprofit. You got to offer that same kind of salary in order for them to come on as CEO if you want a good CEO. I didn't know if he good. Yeah. Well, that, 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 yeah, that's the issue because at the end of the day, charity is not really charity. No. No. Yeah. No, it's not charity. It's a business. Yeah. Now, everything is a business. Like, breast cancer awareness, everything. Like, I, I appreciate them bringing awareness to it and, you know, trying to get people educated or whatever. But at the end of the day, folks trying to make that money, man. Like, everybody yeah, trying to make money. Lies. I'm about to come up with a charity call. Um, I'll be, I'm going to let y'all know next time. My chair. Well, because like, like, like you're saying, like, it's, it's basically what's going on in the government now with the budget and stuff, the trickle down economics. Because, like you say, with the charities, yeah, the CEOs getting paid 300000 a year, case yeah. being, they're paying the top level people all this money. And the money in the charity is supposed to trickle down to people that actually suffer from breast cancer, but it really doesn't no. in a lot of ways. It kind of just goes into promotion and this net to give awareness of breast cancer, but how many people with breast cancer is actually helping? Because the white man trying to take all the money. Yeah, I mean, who and, that, and white man, white woman, whoever in charge. That's no, the white man. You ain't never get no job. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna <laughs> we gonna pass this recording to everybody. <laughs> yeah. You heard that part? Listen to this part. Yeah, you can be working at a rib shack. <laughs> we gonna put this. We gonna put your part on. I repeat. bet you whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the white at man. the rib shack I'll be name, at the rib shack the white, man. The, white man. Yeah. the white man gonna be ordering some ribs yeah from you <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up more tea, more tea sir uh-huh. whatever I was not getting him no tea I'm gonna be that one person I'm coming out can I get one rib just one one no. she was like take your black ass home so <laughs> get your broke ass home. <laughs> I'm tired of niggas like you <laughs> All right, so anyway, since you talked about trickle down economics, you know who that reminds me of. Oh, yeah. Donnie. Boy, Teflon Don. Teflon Don, Don, Donnie Trump, uh, <laughs> the George. new Ronald Reagan. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so, orange man. Yeah, the orange man. Yeah, Agent Orange. That's how I call him. I, I call him anything but the president. Yeah. That is not my president. <laughs> But anyway, so like he he been in the news a lot since we we gonna get into the next segment, which is the real news segment. Fake news, yeah, real oh, news, real not news. Fake, the real oh, news, no fake bad. news, no fake news. Yeah, All right. we, we don't believe in that re- that fake news that uh Donnie Donnie Trump uh talks about. But anyway, so what I was gonna talk about a lot today was this whole thing with this widow about him, oh, the Gold Star family. Yeah, that is so sad. I don't know. And they black too. It's just yeah. terrible out yeah. here, man. He he hates black women for like whatever. Oh, he do it. hate us. It's like, okay, boo. We hate you too. Yeah. <laughs> Donald I don't Trump even really hate, hate people, but he don't like her. You could say, oh, I don't like that man. All the black woman he like is Amorosa. Oh, she ain't really. Oh, I don't <laughs> like her either. Yeah, no, but he don't even like her. He don't her. like her. He just, he just basically used her. Yeah, he used her because he's a, she the one black woman that, that'll see him. So yeah. Because, you know, black women got this attitude. We don't take that shit. It's in our blood. Do mm. not take that shit. I like Maxine Waters. Oh, I like her. Yeah. Maxine Shaw. Reclaiming my time. That's what I'm doing for the rest of 2017. Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time. Yeah. Reclaiming my time. All right. So, anyway, so the widow was black. And so he was like, you know, he called her or whatever. And he told her, what do you say? He's like, oh, he knew what he signed up for. Yeah, pretty much. Told dude that he knew what he signed up for. And, and then, okay. So, but on top of that, so besides the fact that he was just totally disrespectful in the phone call, he backdoor it and be like, "Okay, that senator that said 
or the congresswoman that said that that's what I said, she lying too. So yeah. he called the other black woman out. That's, that's okay. He's talking about her with her wacky hats. Yeah, he okay. talked about the black woman, the black congresswoman. I ain't gonna lie, y'all talked about her too. Damn. People probably talked about I mean, her, but I did say, I did say, what she got on? Yeah, 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 you, probably, you probably talked about her, man. But I like her, though. But you weren't saying that she was lying, though. No, nah, I would never lying. say, but. The, the, the lady had receipts, though. She had had a conference or something with yeah. her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he it said was, he said he had proof, and then he got quiet. Yeah. I've never had no proof. Just keep talking to Russia. Shut the hell up. Yeah. He, he had multiple, like, multiple people came out and was like, that's what he said. Like, it was, it was so many receipts coming out that it was like, he couldn't really deny it no more. But. In in his own fashion, of course he's gonna deny it. Oh yeah, he's the worst president we ever like. Shit hurt my head. Like he the worst president in, in at least recent history since we like got out of the racist time. Yeah, you in know the past fifty in the past fifty years since at least like I guess Kennedy or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like anything after Kennedy, he's probably the worst. Oh my god! So I don't know. Did y'all vote? I did. No, I voted. Y'all, okay. I voted. Your you voted? vote count. Your vote count. Your That's vote what counts. they say. You know yeah. what? And the, honestly, yeah, that's kind of what mm-hmm. you, you did. You did. I did. I voted. Oh, okay. But you're looking at me like I'm. I vote. I thought you said you didn't vote. Oh no, 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 no! I vote. I know. So a lot of educated black men don't vote. Oh no, I, I voted, but like, and that was the thing. Like, I think the reason he won the election, even though he lost the popular vote, mm-hmm. but he he would have lost the popular vote by a greater margin, which solidified it more. If people actually voted and everybody wasn't like, yeah. we not we gonna vote because we ain't gonna count anyway. You know what I'm saying? I know it's still up to the electoral college, but it's a lot of people did not vote. Yeah, a lot of people didn't vote. And, 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 and I get tired of people, black folk especially. You gotta start making excuses because, like, yes, is there a voter suppression movement going on out there? Yeah, yes, yes, it is. Definitely. But at the same time, there are places that have early voting. Yeah, and yeah. and it, and black people still don't show up. Everybody shows up the day. You of. know we late. Yeah, and that's and, that, and look what we got. Okay, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. This year, the well, last year I did vote uh, on that day. I wait. Yeah, you know I wish they would bring. I wish Diddy would, and uh, the celebrities would bring back that uh, vote or die campaign. I think right. that was very effective. And the only reason they did it was because of Barack, and I and it and it does make us seem kind of racist because like the only reason we get real hyped. But then why black can't we women. be like why we we don't have that many black people to look up to? And if we say like oh we voted for Barack because he black, we racist. They voted for Trump because he white. We only had white presidents. Right. I finally got to see a black president. I don't know if my child gonna see that. Probably, probably like, not. God. No, that ain't gonna happen for a while. That was the that was the magical Negro. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that man. I love him. Yeah, because he's the magical Negro. He was he, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was the, the one, one. He was the one percent. Yeah, yeah. He was the you know one. what I'm saying? They had the the background, had the education. I think yeah, next man. next minority might be Hispanic. Hispanic. Yeah. It's not gonna I be a woman. That. It's not gonna be a yeah. woman. And it's not. I gonna be can't black. see no woman being president. Not no woman and not black because not enough women support a woman president. No, we don't even like each other. Yeah, women don't support a woman president. We, so I think no. I fucked for Hillary though. Be next. I, I fucked with the Clintons. I mean, I voted for Hillary. I didn't want to, but I voted yeah. for her. I it like was, Hillary. I would really wanted Bernie as well. I really wanted. You wanted Bernie? Bernie? I don't. Want I didn't burn. I didn't want Bernie. I don't want Bernie over there. Or at least I think Hillary would have won if she would have added Bernie to her ticket. I thought so too. She should. They should have came together a little bit. Let's put the party up because yeah, people. Though. I knew people weren't gonna vote for her because of right. it. But Bernie, to me, Bernie and Trump are the same person to a certain extent. Yeah, they just on different parallels. They're both. They both like uh, anarchy. You know what I'm saying? They both like. You know what I'm saying? The drama. But she could have just used them stuff. for the vice president. That would have been straight. Yeah, but he, he would have blew up the, the the party within with inside because he is so Trump is so to the yeah, right so with all the like racists that. and everything else. Bernie is so to the left with all the. Uh, people on the Democratic side, they just want everything to be Eat, roses and hoods. Yeah, and that's not like going to be like that. that. It's not like that. Somebody got to pay for it. Yeah. We paying for like, it. Like, like I said, talking to somebody about equality, and I was like, can we reach equality in this world? And it's possible. I don't think so, because no. I think we could get to a level of everybody's treated fair, but it still wouldn't be enough. People, but, would, people are, would still are want every, more. Is everybody really treated fair? No, no, no. In life, like, no. it's nothing no. really fair. No. no. But you think about it now. They're trying to make stuff like uh, when kids play games or championships, they give everybody a Participation trophy. Trials. What the hell? Yeah. You don't know. I don't remember that. But well, that's, that's not real life. No. That's, that's teaching your child that everybody's going to win. Right. When they get everybody's older, you're going to find out how much you're going to lose. And you're yeah. going to be hurt. 
Yes, and that's why and that's why boys be killing themselves and flipping out for school and stuff like that because yeah. they they don't know how to face disappointment. I don't no. think everything's equal. I don't no. think it's supposed it's to be. It's not gonna and be. It's not. It's not honestly, be and this is like, and this is like a whole nother subject, but I kind of am a proponent for not segregation so much, but if if it was really separate but equal, I think it would have worked. Like if because you have, okay, so for example, we went to Prairie View. Right. Mm-hmm. Bless your hearts. <laughs> Damn. So, <laughs> so we went to Prairie View, and like people that go to like HBCUs in general, they tell they tell you about like how their experience was different because it's like you get a more family feeling because you know you got people that look like you everywhere you go. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so let's say that you went somewhere where you were comfortable everywhere you went, and you got the same level of education no matter where you went, but you were comfortable there. Like you would be a lot more successful in life if you were like comfortable and you got a good education. You think so? I think so. Well, Let, it's, well, it's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of like somebody presented it to me before. Like we've tried we've tried to build our own. Like how the Asians in, in, in any city you go into, they have like a Chinatown, right? Or something like that. They have their own communities. The exactly. like Jewish community have their own little section, yeah. whatever. You know what I'm saying well, Ar- black people got Arabs. They don't have anything because throughout history, which is really fucked up. Every time we have built something, they have came in and destroyed it in some kind of way. Yeah, like Who Black is Wall that? Street. The white man. The white man did the it. White man. Gentrification. Yes. Happens. Like like the so like, Black Wall like, Street. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like Black Wall yeah. Street and things. I like that read about that. Yeah. So yeah. like I said, they had their own their own vibrant economy, and basically they didn't want to see that because I also I also think when it comes to certain white people, or whatever, like. Talk about equality. They only want to see that because it goes into a culture we had before. Hmm. Of if we were in power, you don't want to give that up so easily. Of course not. Yeah. So you know, what I'm saying you really can't be mad when they try to hold on tight to, yeah. to something. When because, like, I say if that was us in that position, we'd be the same way. We've been the same way. We was like that for the past eight years. And and the problem is, okay, so think about it this way. Like, let's say it's like this little skinny dude. Yeah. And he against this like big, strong, athletic dude. Yeah. The little skinny dude is in power. He in charge. He the boss over mm-hmm. the athletic dude. He know that if he get that nigga a little bit of leeway, he gonna overpower him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so like that's how they feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause they like white people are in power right now. But they know that like if they give minorities any type of a foothold, like to where they can step up, like even even if it's not just black people, but like minorities in general, if all yeah. minorities came together against white people, oh, that white be people be gone. Well, yeah. you, well you, gotta, you gotta look at throughout history and stuff. Everything that minorities, especially black people, have invented and have created, right? Like if we were to create our stuff and keep our own things to ourselves, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that's where it's at in this generation wouldn't be, right? And there'll be kind of a lot of white people will be left behind. And it, it also so, keep in mind that they've been the majority in this country for so long, and now, especially with the Hispanics. Uh, and black people now they're close to being uh, the minority. Mm-hmm. So like in another 10, 20 be years, scared. they're gonna be the minority. Be very it's like, it's like, yeah. that's that long. Yeah. I don't think so. No, nah. that's why that's why they're trying to deport everybody. They're trying to build that wild. Build that wild. Ain't no Keep wild player. There. Kick all the dreamers out and stuff like that. Because it's, right. it's too many people to. Yeah, it, it's starting to look like damn. But they really can overtake America's us. America's supposed to be. Which, which, what they say. They which know, which right? is very which is at the end of the day is very stupid because. The way the United States is created is created between all these different minorities of people, right. uh, bringing their ideals in one location and building around it. Right. If you start shutting it out and building this nationalist movement of keeping it America first and all this other stuff, basically all you're doing is letting other countries get ahead of you, and now you live in the dark ages. Oh, like how how like in in in, in China and stuff like that. Like the iPhone 10 been out probably a year, and, and, now, just just, and now we just getting it over here. Yeah, and stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember, um, like how people have the Apple Watches now. Yeah, and the Apple Watch has been hot here for about the past two years, whatever. I I know somebody had a uh, a watch like there from China, like almost yeah. ten years ago. You and, know, China. And, he, and he was showing me, he was showing me, uh, he had episodes of Martin and everything saved on his watch. Mm. Wait, it was to the point where I say, like, does it tell time? And he had to look at me like, damn, let me see. Yeah, he's like, I'm watching videos on my watch. He got like, so watch. much to do on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that was like almost 10 years ago. Mm. So I'll tell you how, how behind as a country we are. And then we want to kick all these other people out of the country that's contributing to us staying kind of That's relevant. your president want to kick people out the country. Hell no. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so let me let me bring it back to some news real quick. Okay. Um. So like the other big thing in the news today was uh basically the the Republicans are turning on Trump. They like, turned one Thank at a time. God, it's about like it's about because time. election coming up, and we're gonna get y'all up out of there. Right. Yeah. But the thing is, and so like the way that the Republicans are playing. Okay. So let me just give background. So Corker, who is like yeah. one of the retiring senators out of Tennessee. No, uh, he's from no, Tennessee. Yeah, Tennessee. yeah, Tennessee. Bob Corker. Yeah, Corker, Corker out of Tennessee. He retiring soon, and so he got into like a Twitter war with Trump, and then like it carried over onto the news. What? And he was like, Trump is like basically he's debasing the country. He's, he's splitting an, the country. He's, he's up. an embarrassment. He's, to yeah, he's the an office. embarrassment. To, he he's not a real Republican. All that kind of stuff. Like he just went at him, and then so like everybody's like, oh, Corker this and Corker that. And then so this other dude, Flake. Uh, yeah, Jeff, Jeff Flake, uh, senator from Arizona. Yeah, the senator from Arizona, Flake, comes up and he, he's retiring too. He, well, he's not retiring. Well, he says he's not going to run it in the next election. Yeah. And so he comes out on the Senate floor and he's like, yeah, no, nah, I don't fuck with Trump either. Like, I don't like Trump either. So like the Republicans are turning on Trump saying that he's I'm, not a real Republican. About time. That's, that's what yeah. I'm saying. And, oh. and so, but let me tell you. So, you know, me personally, I like to watch Fox News because. They they so like so deep into Trump that it's just you funny. like the white man. The white man. <laughs> I like to know what the white man thinking. They they make me stay one step ahead. I know. I know you got him. I just oh, it's just hard watching them, man. Yeah, no, it makes you. Re- and, and the other thing is, I watch I I watch Fox News while I work out because it motivates me. Because I get pissed because they like mm. they'll make you mad. Yeah, like the stuff that they say. But anyway, so like Fox News was twisting it so that basically they were saying that like okay, Quarker and Flake were saying all this because they're losing vote, votes in their home state anyway. So the only reason they're saying this now <laughs> is because they on their way out. They, oh, they're not going to win. They ain't going to win uh, anyway. It's and, probably true. I mean, it's probably true. But the thing is, and so they... Go out with a bang. So uh, what's her name? Huckabee. Huckabee Sanders? Yeah, Sarah, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. The, pre- the White House press secretary was like... Oh, well, yeah, when they were asking her about it, she's like, yeah, they, they're going to lose their states anyway. They're probably just trying to say something because they're losers. Basically, she's like, they're, they're yeah, losers. So, 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 they're, they're losers and they're petty men. Yeah, they're petty and they're, they're, they're losers. So that's why they're saying that. Like, you don't know who your boss is. Yeah. Right. Like, everybody knows that Trump is a terrible person. And just because they say it don't but, make him not a terrible but you, but you But you come out and say that they are being petty and they're losers. <laughs> And basically talking down on him when the president just tweeted before you came out there that Bob Corker wouldn't win dog catcher in his state. Right. And the and only reason he's retiring is because I'm not backing him. You can't, she can't call nobody petty. Right. Like, he, like, but, like Trump said, is the most pettiest politician. What, oh, he's not your politician. Yeah. yeah. The hell he wasn't he a politician. No. God. He's just a petty person, period. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't know he was so petty like that. You seen you seen the person that got loose in the uh, in the Senate in the in, in no, the Congress or whatever, what happened? like in the press pool, or whatever. They was taking pictures of uh, Trump and uh, Senator McConnell walking up, mm-hmm. and somebody in the press pool, somebody went rogue and they had like all these Russian flags and they threw them oh. out there, and it yeah. was like Trump is treason, Trump is treason. Yeah, I heard about oh. that. I seen I seen a picture of, like all the Russian flags yeah. flying through there. So, so yeah, when they going to impeach him? I mean, Al Green started the process. I, I, oh, he did. Okay. I, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't want him impeached until after the 18 election. Mm. Yeah, to see what the Congress looks yeah, like. Yeah, because because you get them, the, if he, they impeach him now, they start forming around him and getting their own little mm-hmm. themselves back and stuff. I want them to be in chaos yeah. so Democrats can take let over. This, let, this, let this congressional election come up because like when the congressional election comes up, it's going to be crazy. Because you got oh, yeah. the Republican Party is split right now because half of them are like, Man, fuck Trump, and then like the other half is like we gotta support him because he's a Republican. Yeah. So let them let them go into Isn't chaos. That it's just not like the right thing to do is not to support him because he's it's, it's not really like, for because he's terrible. Yeah, America. yeah he's it's like I'm gonna person. support my family that I've been riding with, or I'm a, even though they're wrong, or I'm man, gonna you just go wrong, I know you're wrong. Right. Yeah, right. So, my God, please. in that position. Get your ass out, eat too. Everybody that's like, that wrong, stood by him by needs to get their ass out. They'll let you know what type of person they are. I'm like, oh, no. So, mm-hmm. Like, I know they're not doing it right, but I'm going to stick by them. Stick so, by them. I mean, like, so basically what else is going on is that, like, the Republicans that are sticking with Trump, they're trying to sway the whole argument. Because, like, I, of course, I went to, like, Fox News' website, too, to see what their headline. Because the headline of everybody else's website is all the Republicans are turning on Trump. Fox News' headline was 
the Democrat uh, new investigation has been opened into oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about changing the narrative. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they just opened we gonna up we going to bring back the emails yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. they just opened up something new about the uh, uranium deal yeah that, that they said um, it's like Hillary Clinton was involved in but it didn't go up that high yeah so it's kind of like they're like this is this Damn, something this is something that has been reported know. over a year ago they yeah. trying to dig it back up they say and they're like it's and and the, like it was a year ago and like you said it didn't get up that high but because it was while Obama was in office they're calling it an Obama era deal and that the Republicans are fighting this Obama oh, era oh wow they're like the Democrats were in cahoots with Russia now at the same time while uh, uh, Rob Moore who's running for senator um, in Alabama came out with a statement that the gay marriage decision is almost as worse as the 1857 uh, slavery decision. Damn. Really? What, from Arizona? No, from Alabama. Alabama. Oh. Wait, what? Which gay marriage decision? Huh? What, what, which gay marriage decision? I guess the, the, the gay marriage to, to have to gay have marriage, marriage to, to legalize oh, gay to marriage. Legalize that decision was almost uh, as as bad <laughs> as the... the and, and Rob Moore is for people that don't know if you look it up, is the, the guy who won the Republican primary to run for Senate yeah, in Alabama crazy. for 2018. Who wore a cowboy hat and pulled out a gun at his rally? Yeah, he was crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, he he's very racist. Oh, and, I see. You talking about you yeah. should have kept slavery and stuff. Yeah, he's like, he's really? very racist. His views are very racist, but he's been like I think reprimanded or suspended from being a judge a couple of times, whatever, because of his racist views. But this is the person that the Republicans are backing for Senate in Alabama just to get a win. And not mm-hmm. to mention, Trump tried to uh, cut the health care, the payments to the health care. Yeah, we, it was a lot. we had talked about that the subsidies last time. Yeah, yeah, we talked about subsidies. He cut the subsidies to um, low income people so that they can't get health insurance. But yeah, so yeah, Trump is Trump is just he, all over the just, place. Yeah, he's a, he everything he does every time he like every time you wake up. It's something new. That's why I can't watch it. I feel like that makes yeah, me sick. Yeah, but this thing is, you don't even have to watch the news. Like it, it just comes up yeah. randomly, like all the time. Always, there's always something going on. And guess what he did today? <laughs> yeah. But I think the news likes it. Like it gives them more to talk about to me. It's like, hey, Trump did this. He tweeted this today. And it's all a distraction. Every time they, he's tweeting about something, I feel like they're just trying to take our mind off of something else that he, not, you know, they don't want us to focus on. Basically, you know. Oh yeah, because they they um, as we pay attention to stuff like this, like the Senate or Congress, or whatever, the House of Representatives will pass like a bill cutting so much money to like Medicaid and Medicare and stuff like that in the middle of the night while people ain't watching. That's how they pass a certain bills without people knowing. They'll start like a big drama and then they'll pass something underneath it. So you gotta keep your mind like oh. not looking at the, the surface, but also looking underneath. So speaking of that. So, like, one of the questions that came up while Sarah Sanders was up at the mic was they were, uh, one of the reporters asked her, they were like, so, like, don't you think it's important that the president stops addressing all the petty stuff that comes up on Twitter and starts addressing all these real issues that are going on? Yeah. And she was like, well, I think it's important that the president keeps a touch on everything that's going on in the world, including things going on on yeah, Twitter. Because he's like, he's a fighter. <laughs> like, he's a fighter. He, that, she know how to talk, boy. For yeah. him, but they, but they, she sounds just like him, and it sounds terrible to me. Yeah, because 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 everybody knows it's, it's kind of bad when everybody know you're lying. Yeah. yeah, and stuff like that, and it's like it's not even a question of you lying. We know you lying because he contradicts whatever you're saying. He's going to contradict you in the next five minutes on Twitter. Yeah, so you're lying. Yeah, so it's I don't know. Remind me of my old supervisor or something. Like, damn, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Beat his ass. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you ain't getting no <laughs> You're not fixing to get another job. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. But, uh, Shout out to her. <laughs> but, but, uh, but, but, uh, but, other, but other than Trump as usual, whatever, anybody else, like I said, sometimes we're going to put on the show, jump out the window. Anybody yeah. else jumped out the window this week? Any quick hot takes on, on anything that happened this week in like, the news? Like anybody just went too far. If you don't know what we mean by jumping out the window, like somebody that just kind of went left with a certain ideal, a certain comment, you're like, no, why did you say that or why did you do that? It just jumped out the window. I don't know. Like I said, because pretty much right now, the only people that jumped out the window this past week, whatever, like I say, is the Republican Party and, oh, and, yeah. and Trump pretty much with his statements on the gold star family, the widow and everything else, doubling down on stuff. Like, jumped out the window. Trump jumped out the window. General Kelly, the uh, chief of staff of the White House, jumped out the window with his sob story about oh, his yeah. about his family, family. And, then, and then he basically talked about the uh the white the black congresswoman 
and basically lied on her because they had to take the proof that, that he was lying. Yeah. But he doubled down. He didn't say the remark. So pretty much he just jumped out the window with that just to say it. Yeah, people are the, like, and that's every week. And like we said earlier, like every week, every every couple of days, the Republican Party going to jump out the window with something because they just, they always have something to say, even if it's not necessary. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, I don't know. I mean, like I said, overall, that, that's been like the big things in the news. I, I can't really think of anything else in the news that just really stood out to me lately. But I'm sure that shit, by the time this thing airs, that it'll be something else out there, man. It'll be something else big happening because it, it never fails. I don't know. So, so before we wind this, this, this episode down, would anybody else got anything to add before we have our going to our Wusa moment? Wusa? No. Oh, okay. So, hey, anybody got nothing to say? It's on me? Yeah, it's no, on well, me. Well, well, before you go into your we side, like I said, we just, jump. like I said, we, before you jump, before, before Dr. J jump out the window, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like, we didn't do much on halftime, whatever, you know, NBA season has started. Mm. Things That's like that. I forgot. Yeah, NBA season has started. This net, um, as we recording this, Astros are in the World Series right now. Go Astros. Yes. Um, I don't know nobody I, on the team, but hey, H-Time. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Like I say, that's pretty much the biggest thing that's going on, especially with us recording in Houston. For us, that's yeah. the biggest thing. And, going they, the, and the Rockets doing good, too? No, Rockets. they lost last they, night. They lost I last lost night, some money, and I'm really pissed about that. Yeah, oh, yeah, my bad. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Look at them. How much you bet? I don't want to talk about it. You must have lost a lot, then. I thought they was winning when I went to sleep. I woke up and was like, oh, yeah, they, they count. Yeah, they was. Who, who they play last night? Uh, Me- uh, Grizzly, the Grizzlies. Memphis. Memphis. Yeah, and I... I they, that's what I thought. They but up. they, hey, they that's, undefeated right now. That's when uh, uh, James Harden squared up with uh, Mario Chalmers. Yeah, I seen yeah. that, though. I seen, I seen that. that. Yeah. I ain't seen I the ain't game, see, well, No, I seen them later on. He pulled that good Texas move fight. You know what I'm saying? First off, y'all pull up your shorts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the square. Oh, up. where yeah. he from now? He from L.A.? He from Cali. He from Cali. Yeah. They do that? They square up like that? I don't know, but he look like somebody from Texas. I feel like that's kind of universal. You got to pull yeah. up your pants whenever you get ready to fight. Well, pull them pants up. I don't know. That stands, I, that's, like, so, like somebody said, that stands like he was outside of Carringen's. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah. yeah, straight out of yeah. K-Rose. Yeah. That. Right Bring in the parking lot. Bring me back. Oh, never mind. When you went to K-Rose? I mean, back in the day. <laughs> Carol <laughs> Monday. Back in the day. Around, back in the day last Friday. <laughs> yeah. When I went back last night. The <laughs> they got, I mean, Monday nights, I heard well, it go Monday, down. Let me go yeah. down Monday nights. Yeah. But I ain't been there. Don't be looking at me like I was there, <laughs> sir. I was Three dollars, whatever. I, what? Man, cool. what are you telling? I got to stop yeah, drinking. Yeah, yeah but that, that's, that's yeah. it for halftime, man. Yourself. We, we finna go to this blue side. <laughs> Hey, that's it for our time. Okay. Um, so our Wu Sa segment. Okay, so basically what the Wu Sa segment is for everybody that's kinda new to this. Uh so the Wu Sa segment is basically like everybody seen Bad Boys too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And remember like when uh he was in therapy and he was like, You gotta say Wu Sa in order to calm himself down. Mm-hmm. Like so our Wu Sa segment is basically like different techniques in therapy because like I, I do therapy a lot. As you go to therapy? Time. Oh, you I, do. I am a therapist. You're a therapist? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. My bad. Surprising, huh? <laughs> Surprising, right? And how does that make you feel? <laughs> what do you I'm mean? Saying, I'm I'm saying, saying, I got a therapist. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that. Not mm-hmm. Yeah. That's I got good. a therapist. That's really good. That's why we... we I don't go to them no more. Why not? Mm-hmm. Now you have me interested. Now What's I feel like mean? I need to ask more questions. It's just, I don't know. I don't think he was helping me with stuff. Let's go. Cool. So he's just the wrong therapist for you. I think so. It was was yeah. he older? He was uh, he about fifty. Yeah, 50. I was say he probably an older, but maybe white man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah. The first lady was cool. She was real. Yeah. She was older, but she was real. She yeah. told me straight up, based but on mostly, full of shit. She, I yeah, liked her. Women are women are good there, and that's why most therapists are going to be women anyway. So, uh-huh. and especially not black men or black men look like me anyway. So. No, I, I can't. Like I don't feel. I don't feel comfortable telling a black man my problems. Why? I think they are my problem. <laughs> oh wow, that is something. Well, that, well, 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 that kind of makes sense. If you think the black man is the trigger, why are you talking about black, black man? man. <laughs> <laughs> that that kind of makes a lot of sense. <laughs> no, I, I mean I understand it. That's that's something that I would definitely need to explore. So mm. that's another topic. I just don't feel like y'all like us much. Y'all like to pull wigs and stuff in the restaurant. That was who you dealt with. Yeah. I know. I've never pulled a wig in my life. Oh. Uh, if I'm, he would have pulled I'm, that I'm, wig I'm, out, I'm it would have been like, that's oh, I'm like, that's I'm scared, coming. I'm scared it's going to come off. That's why, why that's would I pull I'm like, it? why I'm would like, you play like that? But then, oh, whatever. Because she'd be like, nah, I got to cut you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> next to the woo stop, like, you make your, 
Yo, patients do woo star stuff. I mean, we we talk about things that are coping mechanisms and things oh. that calm them, that help them calm themselves. I think I have like bad together. anxiety sometimes. Like sometimes at work, there's one chick I just want to choke the shit out of her. But I be <laughs> have like, you have you choked her? Nah, I told okay. her I did tell her go back to her desk. You want don't touch me. Go back to your desk. I said it the nicest way I could. Well, like that's that. Good. But you know what I want to say? What? Go ahead and say it. <laughs> like, nah, I'm good. I'm oh, okay. not going to say that. But, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's like good to... Music helps me calm the hell There down, you go. So, mm-hmm. yeah. that, that's like, as long as I got my music in at work, I'm straight. I don't yeah. need to listen to nobody. That's that's good though. Like and that's one of the things that I've I've had, you know, patient do before is like, you know, music. Music is calming. But some music, I mean, when I'm trapping <laughs> you, you be ready to fight. What? Yeah. But I anyway, the city, <laughs> yeah. the city, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. but gospel calm me down. No, gospel good though. Yeah, like, I, I listen to it in the morning, but in the afternoon, I be ready. To I would say I listen to gospel on my commute because my commute long, so I, like, I drive too. like forty five minutes. I take an minutes. hour to get to work. Yeah, so like when I'm driving and I'm in traffic, mm-hmm. I gotta listen to some gospel. To Praise calm him down. in advance. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord use me today. Right. I know you're working on me. Work, work. Work, work. Flip the <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Wow. Anywho. Uh, so, anyway, so I will stop for this week. It, it's basically going to be about journaling. So, does anybody actually make keep journals or diaries or anything I like don't. that anymore? You do? Good. Good. I do. I do y'all do. keep journals or diaries? That's good. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> I, I I used to write stuff down. That's gay. That's gay. Is that gay for a man to keep a journal? I think if you have like a full like bunch of pages and stuff like that, I think at some points in your life you need to write stuff down to kind of be like to, re- to I reflect. I don't like to read it back though. I think for me, I just kind of uh, I get lost in uh, I write like a lot of short stories and oh, that's nice. And stuff like that, so. oh. Gay, gay. <laughs> that's not. I like that. Yeah, no, I. But I, I, feel I like. Said, no, I know. I, I, know. I, know. I know. It's cool. I like scripts and stuff. Like one day I might have a movie about me. It's gonna be fucked up, but it's gonna be good. Gonna be one of BT movies. Oh, <laughs> oh man, ain't hey, nobody watching. Shut up. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna come on right at the baby boy. Oh, maybe a TV boy, one. A TV one? one? Give me that. TV one is up. It's a yeah, step TV up. one's up there. She gotta have one of them freeze frame. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Like I asked. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, I found a journal. Oh, <laughs> I found a journal. I wrote 2012, y'all. Oh my god! You had some shit to say. Yeah, yes, I was like, dang. But you know, the worst part I don't like is like it's repeated stuff. Yeah, stuff keeps happening. But the thing is, okay, so this is why I was gonna address journaling because like sometimes I know it's it. You don't necessarily have to read it all the time, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's good to look back and see where you were because sometimes you made progress and sometimes you haven't. Yeah, and that's right. I think that really got to me that I was like, this ain't no progress what I made. So yeah, so it, it I'm helps still you. still doing it. And, and that accompanied with you going to like therapy or something, like you could tell your therapist, hey, I remember I looked at my journal from 2012, five years ago, and I'm still doing the same thing. And they'd be like, okay, so what was it? We need to work on that. That's what we need to move past. I think it's y'all. It's black men. Case How? closed. That's not, that's, that's, that's general that's the, yeah, that's right. kind of just a blanket. Be right. right. Be right. Get it together. I feel like that's better. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he said, I think it's just, just, just a tad. Just, this might be the black man you've dealt with. You just uh, probably ain't came That's what I hear. Oh, okay. That uh, that uh-huh. that you can deal with and uh, can deal with you in the right way. Okay. Yeah, because you, you got niggas that you got black men dancing on like this fine line of like you can't be too aggressive, but you got to be aggressive enough to handle me. Like, this. but then you got some black men that just like, oh, just be quiet and just look good, and just, you can't like, do that either. Hell no! So I'm what can you talk. do? I got a, I got a voice. Find your lane. Find my lane. Yes. What What is your lane? You need to figure out yes. what your lane. Yeah, is. I don't know. What's your expectations and what's your reality? My expectation? Just yeah. do what I like and do what I say. Expectation. Uh, they Reality. Go, uh, <laughs> they go left. <laughs> they don't do it. <laughs> I think I the think. way you the way you look right now, you look kind of crazy. That's how you sound. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> do what I say. Do what I say. And we gonna be good. Like, we gonna be good. No, like that, <laughs> that don't make so sense. Can, yeah, how you want an alpha male, but you don't want him to have no backbone? Yeah, you know, for real, awesome real stuff. I don't know what the hell I want. 
because that, that stuff is yeah, scary that's to me. Honest. That's honest. Yeah, so real, I'll right just be there, playing. Yeah. Like, I really, when somebody get real serious, I freak the hell out. I probably will, yeah, I get I'm scared of that. You already said you ran off with a little boy said, Mommy, that's bad enough. Oh, that was, hey, I was too young for that shit. Man, I don't, you can't say that now. No, that could have been your oh, song, man. Right there, right there. Mm-mm, that's no. not my okay. song. That, that, that was the good. one. That was that nine. One. He's that actually getting married. He got a baby. That's Another? good. Yeah, oh. he's he with this baby mama though right now. Oh, so he, he married this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody out here having kids. Still, so. Okay, so this is my question. You follow him on social media? Or We're still friends. Oh, mm-hmm. that's still cool. Mm-hmm. You just come fuck with him because his son called you mommy. Oh no, some most shit, but oh. you know. I feel that. Yeah, I forgot. He's what a, he's a good person, just not good for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's always like that. Yeah, there you go. That, it's always like a, yeah. I can I can dig that. He fucked up. I'm better. That's that sound good? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I, I'm not gonna say it sound good, but it sound normal. Okay. That, that's about how. Nah, I'm friends with most of everybody. That's almost some people I can't be friends with because you're crazy. See now, now I have more questions, but I'm trying to stop. So, Musa. Musa. Okay, so so my my thing is okay. So some of y'all keep a journal, some of you don't. Like it's, I don't personally think, and like I, I, it took me a while to get to this point in my life because at the end of the day, I'm I'm a normal dude. So like, <laughs> when I when I get when I got to this point in my life, like it was when I started doing therapy with people, mm-hmm. and now I'm like, okay, I think it's cool. A dude can keep a, a journal every day if he want to. Like he can have books of journaling if that's if that's what he needs. So like, um, my brother used to like write. To the mic. Oh, my my brother used to like write lyrics. So yeah. that's about the same thing. As, well, you know what? I feel like it is because he was talking about his life a lot. Yeah. And it was so sad. Like when he'll send me something, he'll like rap. Mm-hmm. I used to feel bad because I never knew he even gave a damn. Because to be honest, he's always to me been like a tough person and very selfish closed off yeah Yeah. but when he started spitting lyrics and stuff was talking about my father and my mom i was like oh this really happened to you yeah like you really felt some type of way even though you was talking crazy to my ass or something it was therapeutic. But I mean, it was, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, like, journaling. It had a little feel. Okay. The, the thing about journaling, it's like, it don't have to be like, Dear Diary, today that I shit had my, a rough oh, day. Oh, that's how I write, Dear Diary. <laughs> they got me fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Susie at work tried to take my coffee, but I was like, Oh, no, bitch, don't do that. Like, my diary. That's, that's, <laughs> it, but like, a lot of female diaries and journals look like that, though. Like, like but Dear my diary. shit is about men. Oh my god! Like <laughs> we have to we know you us. have a problem. We know this. Men is your trigger. We know this. I'm gonna break my diary up and let y'all read. I don't really give a shit. But yeah, it's basically would be like, hey, I'm, I'm not scared. fucking with him. No, I don't. And then I write, I do, and I make a prayer. I'm really fucked. Yeah, God knows. I'm really fucked up. <laughs> be like, we all are fucked up in all <laughs> special ways. And then I, I say like, a prayer of what kind of man I want. But then I'd be scared when God sent it to him. Because I probably either met that man and then I'd be like, oh, no. That's not what you really want. Yeah, I want a thug. See? Uh, man, see, you, you, are, you a whole... We're gonna have, a thug we're, with an education. We, we gonna, it's going to take a few <laughs> sessions for you. Like yeah. uh, you, you. They got a little background of what I got. And no kids. A background of what you got? What you mean? Yeah, by just like your background ain't so fucked up. Like... Maybe a two parent household. So maybe the two yeah, parent, one two parent, parent, but like yeah. your background ain't fucked up. Like I ain't gotta go to them fight. Like go to your people house, they fighting and shit. Your daddy pulling the gun oh. out type of stuff. I don't want to do that shit. I feel that you, you want it. You want a not so hostile background. Yeah, and then your mama just talking shit. Like my mom would never talk to you really, to be honest. Like she'll just be like, "Oh, that's a nice guy." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that works. That that's not asking for too much. Yeah, well, you got some people you dating their mama too. Yeah, ain't about to happen over here soon. But well, she had that answer at the beginning of this podcast. I was gonna gonna buy no plate, so buy yeah. mama no I'm food. not buying no mama no plate. <laughs> Why can't you buy my mama some food? <laughs> we, <laughs> my just mama we just started dating. We just started dating. My mama hungry. Well, you gotta ask yourself, take a step back. Like, what am I doing to attract what I don't want? I don't even attract no thug dude. I can't handle that. What, what kind of dudes do you attract, Ashley? I don't know. Fuck boys. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a, I love fuck boys. No, they out here. They ready? Yeah, 
They they waiting on you. For sure. They, they waiting on you. Damn. <laughs> they love me. Man, let me end this thing. <laughs> That's fucked up, Alex. <laughs> He's like, fuck boy. No. You no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I don't fuck with a lot of fuck no. boys. I'm like, like, yes, I did. Yes, I, I do. I, I actually, so it's my fault. It'd be some fucked up ass dude, but we okay. have more. I, mean, fun. I have more fun with them. That's see, that's but that's you like them. It's fucked up, man. Like I said, what are you doing to? You but know, also, you're, that's what you want. So that's what that's, that's what not what I want. want. It's good for that time when you're trying to start something like a future. Oh, they ain't with this shit. You know, they not. Mm. Man, you 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 no, like you not. like whatever they bring into the table because you keep going back to them. So right. I'm bored. They bored. I got a little fuck girl in me too, so I can tell yeah, you. it's I don't know how to stop it yet. I'm working on. It. I know you don't yeah. get that one day. Take yeah. your time. Yeah, try try. I wasn't soon. always like this. When did you change? I think thirty fucked me up. Like thirty was like, 30. you know what? I'm going in. Let's go. So your twenties, you were an angel, or no. what, what did you add on there <laughs> in your twenties? I was more in relationships, like I like long term, like a yeah. couple years. Relationship. Yeah, I really thought I was going to Did you jump it. in and out of them? No. Oh. I believed in relationships. Right now, I'll be looking at them like... Well, what was your longest relationship? About four years. That was a long time ago. We stretching this out. All right, okay, so yeah. let me... Let me uh, Damn, y'all trying to... Dang. Yeah, we, we, we having a whole session over oh, here. Yeah, for sure. So anyway... So, about so, years so, ago. so about journals. Yeah, about journals. journals. That was in my journal, too. Yeah. So we know, we know Ashley kept... <laughs> Journals of everybody that she talked to, or whatever, and then we 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 all need to like. Okay, so my whole point is that like journal is not a bad thing. You need to keep track of your thoughts. Mm-mm. You need to you need to know, even if it's not nothing you grown from, at least you kept track of it so that like your thoughts come out. Because if you hold them in, that shit gonna be worse. I got letters from when I was in middle school that I read. Oh my God! Yeah, I should have been. That people wrote to me, or I wrote to them. Like, nah, people wrote to me. It's some mean ass folks I went to high school with. Like, <laughs> see, I rough, got. Man. I ain't rough, no. you yeah, had, really. <laughs> you had it rough, man. This nigga wrote me a letter talking about a dog I lost. I was so goddamn mad. I think I put it on my Snapchat. And next know, week not, we gonna talk about we gonna talk about this dog on next week episode. <laughs> but on this week we finna shut we, these we meat down. Write in your out. journals, y'all. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, write yeah. write in your journal so you can go back and look at it and cry about what you. I don't <laughs> like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking, that wasn't no who's. I ain't laughing. <laughs> y'all go back and look at y'all shit. Yeah, I was like, this is mad like, shit. That was me. They ruined, that ruined my whole Wusa moment. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, try to write in a journal. It, I mean, maybe it'll be helpful for you. <laughs> I don't know if it's helpful for anybody else, but it, maybe it'll help you. <laughs> and so we're going to end this. Uh, for the fifth time. Yeah, this is this has been the fifth episode of What's the Remedy? <laughs> and, 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 and probably the best episode today. Yeah. yeah. Cinco so, de Mayo. It was a good little conversation. Yeah, I'd like, like to thank everybody that's on the show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Crazy Ashley. Crazy Ashley. Uh, thank y'all. That boy Chris, you know what I'm saying? Uh, O'Hare's Radio. Yeah. Writing your journal, Chris, about today. <laughs> I may write, I'm I, I may write a, 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 a webisode for my oh, short series. Yeah. I'm doing, That's so nice. See, yeah. you got stuff. I'm going to write their go. journal. Well, there you go. Well, Dr. J, you know what I'm saying? Another <laughs> episode in the book, baby. Y'all make sure y'all check out the go, email us at what's the remedy podcast at gmail.com. You can hit us on Twitter at what's the remedy, just what's the remedy, you know, podcast. And then, uh, YouTube, listen iTunes, to the YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud. SoundCloud, Google Play, whatever, whatever you listen to that, uh, sound, uh, podcast on, we own that hope. So hit us up. We appreciate everybody coming out. Everybody say bye. Bye. Peace. Later. Right. Mama said you better be home. When the street lights on. And when the street lights on. And when the street lights on. They ain't doing nothing but wrong. When the street lights on, uh-huh. and when the street lights on, uh-huh. cause when the street lights on.